Hi everyone, today we are in lesson four, I'm sorry, 11.4, and that is on page 431 in your colored math books. We are going to figure out how to join and separate angles. The question asks, how can you determine the measure of an angle separated into parts? So let's get started. This part you're gonna kinda have to do on your own. I will walk you through it, but you're gonna need an extra piece of paper. So pause right here and go get a scrap piece of paper and you can do it with me. All right, now that you have your paper and you're gonna need a protractor, draw an angle that measures exactly 70 degrees. Label it angle A, B, C. So if you can see, she drew an angle that's exactly 70 degrees, which would be an acute angle, and she has labeled it Ex she has labeled it um, A, B, C. So that's what you're going to need to do. Now, what you're going to need to do, if you need time, you can always pause the video and go do that. You're going to cut out angle A, B, C. So you're going to cut from here to here to here. You're going to cut that angle right out. So pause the video again and do that. Next, separate angle A, B, C by cutting it into two parts. Cutting, begin cutting at the vertex and cut between the rays. Okay, so first you should have cut this out right here on those lines. Now you should start here after that's been cut out for step, or for step C and you should go and cut it right in the right up the middle, the sort of middle. It doesn't matter. It's not saying where to cut it, but you just want to have two pieces. So what figures did you form? You formed two angles. So you should have two angles in your hand right now. Let's go to the next part. Use a protractor to measure the angles you formed. Record the measures. Find the sum of the angles you formed. So if you cut straight up the middle, an example you may have 35 degrees and 35 degrees could be something and it equals 70. Whatever you did should equal 70. So you could have a 30 and a 40, you could have a 20 and a 50, you could have a 10 and a 60. Whatever these two numbers are, those are the two numbers from that those the two pieces, but the whole thing should equal 70 degrees. Join the two angles, compare the measure ABC to the sum of the angles of its parts. Explain how they compare. Well, the two parts equal the one whole, which was 70. That's what you started with. So if you have done it correctly, that's what you should end up with. All right, let's move on to the next part that I can do with you because that one was a little one, little kind of a little bit hard since I couldn't do it with you. Okay. Use a protractor to find the measure of each angle. Let's get started. Here's my handy dandy protractor. Uh oh, problem. Nothing lines up with my straight line. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to rotate your protractor. All right. Put it right on that center. And remember how I told you to extend the lines if you need to? So you can do that. You can also look right here on my protractor. I have lines already. On yours, this part's probably cut out, but on here I have lines. So this is between here. So it's probably about 85, I would say. So from here, 
from angle C, I'm sorry, angle D, C, B measures. Eighty five degrees degrees. All right. Next, let's put it back. I need to move it up just a smidgy bit. All right. Remember, you have to put that right in the center. So now I'm looking at angle A, C, B. Well, that goes past my 90, so it's going to be more than 90, doesn't quite go to the 100, so it's going to be 95 degrees. I was going to see something. Can I make my project? Oh, I can make it smaller. 95 degrees right there. All right. So I'm going to write 95 in. All right, and then we have this one down here. So let's move it back here, put it right on there. I need to turn it around. That appears to me to be the whole straight line, straight line to straight line, which is 180 degrees. So this would be 180 degrees. Oh, come on. There you go. So now let's do step two. Label each one. We did that. Now let's write the parts. We know that we had 85 degrees. We had 95 degrees. And we had 180 degrees. And when you add all those up, that equals 360 degrees. There you go. We know that that's what it has to equal because a circle equals 360 degrees. So, let's go back and see. Silly protractor, let's get him out of here. All right. So, we join and separate angles. How can you determine the measure of an angle separated into parts? Well, here you made your angle of 70 degrees, and then you cut it in to two angles. And when you cut it into two angles, you measured each angle. Then you put it, added them together, and it should have equaled 70 degrees. And then here, we found all the measurements of the angles, and we know that the whole thing when we add it up should equal 360 degrees, and it did. All right, I hope you understand what we did. If you have any questions, let me know. Bye, everyone.